Yeah. Okay, my kids. So, in this unit, we are going to see the topic that is called blue skies. Blue skies. What did you think is the meaning of blue skies? Cielo azul. Cielo azul. Azul is very good. And as you see, here we have different landscapes. Landscapes. We have here different landscapes, paisajes, or different views. As you see, for example, in the first part, for example, right here, in this part, um, probably here you have um, like a, a blue sky or um, like this, like these people are uh, on the beach or it is, I think this part is in Rome. But as well, we have like different seasons or different seasons. So, do you know what are the seasons, kids? We have, we have four seasons. We have four seasons, all right? Four seasons. During the, during the year, uh, we have four seasons. Do you have any idea about what are the seasons? Any idea, my dear students? Very good, yeah. Again, as I said before, in English and as well in Spanish, we have four seasons. What do you think? For example, summer. Mm. Very good. What else? Spring. Mm. Very good. Spring. Uh -huh. What else? Fall. Fall. What else? Winter. Winter. Yeah, all right. So here we have, here we have like summer. What is the meaning of summer? I'm going to show you as well. What is the meaning Verano. of summer? Verano. 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 Excellent. This is autumn, all right? Autumn. Okay. Yeah, but here, oh my God, yes. Uh, spring? Primavera. Primavera. Fall or autumn? Otoño. And winter? Invierno. Yes. Invierno. So, students, do you consider that in Ecuador, do we have the four seasons of the year? No. What's your opinion? No, totally no. We don't have. Believe it or not, we don't have seasons. We don't have seasons, any season, right? But some people say that in Ecuador we have summer and as well we have winter. Some people. And you see, for example, yesterday and not only yesterday, but uh, some other days before, I, I don't know, I'm not so sure in your neighborhoods, but here in my neighborhood, it started to rain hail. It started to rain or it started to fall granizo. I don't know in your neighborhoods, but for example, yesterday here in my neighborhood, everything was in white. Everything was in white. The ceilings, no, not the ceilings, the roofs, the floors, the streets, everything, everything, everything was in white. Todo estaba blanco a causa del granizo. And you may say, teacher, it's, it's, it's snow, it's nieve. No, it gets totally different. So for the reason some people used to say that here in Ecuador, we don't have a fall and we don't have a spring. Um, in which countries do you consider that we can have this kind of seasons like summer, spring, fall, and autumn? In which countries, for example? 
for example. Uh, United States. Yes, could be. Could be. All right. I'm going to tell you something. I have a friend. I have a friend. And he lives in in Netherlands, in Holland, Holanda. And he told me one day that, for example, when it's winter, they don't have any kind of light of sun. For example, sometimes here when it's winter, uh, the sun um, rays at eight and falls at what about eight uh, as well. A veces el sol se levanta a las seis y se, y se pone a las seis de la tarde. A veces es así aquí. But, in that country, he told me that sometimes the sun appears like at 11 or 12, all right? And then the sun goes to sleep at about uh, 3 or 4. A las 3 o a las 4, ya se va el sol. Imagínese cuántas horitas de sol tiene. Solo 3 o 4 horitas. Do you see? Believe it or not, this is true. All right, let's continue. So... Um, here we have some questions. I, I, I like to ask you, students, do you watch the weather report? Do you watch the weather report or not? Do you watch the weather report? What is the meaning of these expressions? Ustedes ven. Miras el reporte meteorológico. Exactly. Y yo pregunto, ¿ustedes ven el reporte del clima? Por ejemplo. Bueno, aquí, aquí así veamos un poquito el reporte, como que el clima de Quito cambia un poquito, ¿no? Por ejemplo, ahorita, si es que ustedes se aparecen en su ventanita, tenemos un sol maravilloso, un sol bien bonito que usted dice, che, verás, hoy día va a ser un día fenomenal. Me voy a ir despuesito de clases a la piscina o yo qué sé, cosas así. Pero ya vemos que de repente en la tarde comienza a ser o comienza a llover como que si no tuviera fin e inclusive eh, ha comenzado a caer granizo no no sé si es que en sus barrios también pero ayer en mi barrio todo 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 estaba blanco los techos las calles los patios everything sí yeah so these kind of things are really important and as well there are some channels and they um, they do like some broadcast where they share this kind of information and of course it's really, it's really important. Um, a pesar de que Quito es un poco cambiante, sí es un poco necesario que nosotros estemos como que viendo o familiarizándonos con cositas que tenemos que tener en cuenta. Por ejemplo, yo que sé, llevar una sombrilla a la mano, una bufandita, una chompita extra, guantes, yo que sé, depende, ¿sí? Porque a pesar de todo, debemos cuidarnos. You should take care by yourself, right? That is the thing that you should do. Okay. And as well, there are plenty of channels. There are plenty of channels where you can see how the weather goes. For example, I am going to show you, I am going to show you one kind of channel that I used to, that I used to watch and in this kind of channel, you will see as well the weather. Let me see, let me see. No, no, I, I can't see. It's not possible to watch. It's not possible to watch the, uh, the weather. Eh, it doesn't matter. All right, so what kind of weather do you like most? And in this case, let's talk about weather. So in this case, we have sunny, rainy, foggy, like cloudy, uh, sunny, rainy, foggy, cloudy. I think are the principles. And we have more, but let's talk about this kind of thing. And as well, don't forget this kind of these represent one to weather, one season of the year. In your case, what kind of weather do you like the most? In my case, I do prefer, I do prefer sunny days or a sunny, soleado. But in your case, which of these? Yo he escuchado que hay personas que dicen, me, pues a mí me gusta la lluvia. So for the reason I like the rain. 
I don't know if, that, if that's your case, but what is your case? What is the weather that you like most? Sunny, rainy, foggy? Uh, foggy, I don't think so. Cloudy, maybe? Cloudy, como eh, nublado, como que o sea, no hace ni sol, ni tampoco llueve, es como que nublado. Prefiero nublado, o prefiero soleado, o prefiero que es la lluvia, lluvioso. What's, what do you prefer, kids? What do you prefer? Nothing? Alina, what do you prefer? Nothing. So you don't know? Ah, cloudy. All right. Yeah, so, and then I like to ask you, what is the worst kind of weather? ¿Cuál es la peor clase de clima? For me, rainy and foggy. For me, Alejandro? I don't like cloudy. All right. Okay, does anybody else? Does anybody else know? All right, no problem. So my kids, um, don't forget that in the second hour, we're going to start to analyzing these kind of things, all right? So for that reason, it's really important, it's really important that you uh, join to the class on time because we're going to start with this topic, okay? So my kids, uh, don't forget that the second hour starts at uh, 7.40, okay? 